So you've been waiting for games for the GameCube to finally arrive on Nintendo Switch Online and got disappointed with the lack of announcements. Then you thought a hacked Nintendo Switch surely would be able to run games for the GameCube, right? After all, it can run systems all up to the 6th generation, which includes Dreamcast and even PlayStation 2. It's even capable of somehow emulating games for the Wii, and that's the 7th generation. So surely the Switch will be able to run games for the GameCube, right? Well, it's not that easy. You see, Nintendo Switch is using a Tegra X1 chip that's outdated. The patched Switch Lite and OLED is using Tegra X1 Plus, which gives slightly better benchmarks, but whether it actually runs emulators noticeably better is up to debate. To squeeze out the best performance possible, you can run the Dolphin emulator on either an Ubuntu or Android installation. Ubuntu has the upper hand with a clock speed at 2.09 GHz. This makes the games run smoother and increases the frame rate. Android does have a custom-made build that also raises the clock speed to 2.09 GHz. But remember that this greatly accelerates the battery degradation, and any overclock will degrade the CPU faster. Both systems can reach the same clock speed, but only Android has the touchscreen feature, which is a nice advantage. GameCube games that run at full speed on the Switch do exist, and I dedicated a whole video that you can watch here. Perhaps not surprisingly, a couple of these games have already been ported to the Switch, or have been copied to something similar. Taxi Chaos? Anyone? Perhaps these games were easy to port since they already were running at full speed on Dolphin. Sadly, not all games are created equal. Racing games and fighting games have a hard time running on the Switch. If they do run, the gameplay or audio is usually terrible. It all comes down to trial and error. You can tweak with the settings to get more stability out of the games you try to run. You know what console can emulate GameCube the best? The Wii! Perhaps not a real surprise, since GameCube games run on real hardware. Then there's the Wii U with HD output and all. Then there's the magic of Nintendo to release Switch ports of Super Mario Sunshine and even Wii's Skyward Sword. There's an in-house GameCube and Wii emulator that can run any game, but even if Dolphin had access, there's no way in hell they would use it, since that would be illegal and shut down the whole scene. So we're stuck with running GameCube games via Dolphin or either Ubuntu or Android. It all comes down to convenience, since Android only has the touchscreen feature. We can still hope for Nintendo to port more GameCube games for the Switch. After all, there's already 18 games ported, and more have been confirmed without a release date. We do know that GameCube games are capable of running on the Switch via the in-house emulator. Personally, I wait for Wind Waker to get ported to the Switch. What title are you waiting for? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching!